Hopefully this will allow Captain to rest easier. It has been a terrible burden on him, trying to keep every man alive. Okay, so that would be bonus. What is that? Oh! This is like a singular, like, transmog type of thing. Cool. Galen's gone missing. Oh no. We need to find him before his condition wor worsens. What time you come ask about Galen? I watched him leave Quarrymill some time ago and he left this sealed letter before he went off. Maybe swear not to open it until someone came asking. My brothers, I cannot bear to be a burden any longer. That is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. Just find your own way safely to a little Alamigo. Blast it. With that, I'd known he's, what he was thinking. I'd have stopped this folly myself. I love Ga The love Galen bears for his brothers is so strong, he's willing to sacrifice himself for them. Make no mistake, entering the wood is in weak state is suicide. On the wilds alone, that fool. Great, big, sentimental fool. My men and I will scour the woods for Galen. Please help us find him. I'm on it! Galen! Oh, Galen! Galen! Where are you? Of course, he went into a deep, dark cave. <sighs> you downright fool. Goblins, master! And dead. Alien! Captain, but why? You should all be on your way. Why do you take us, or what do you, who do you take us for? We're Alamegans, and Alamegans never forsake one another. Hardships be damned. Remember the oath we swore? God's damn it, the oath to reclaim our homeland. We'll set foot on Alamegan soil again, together, or not at all. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good, let us return to our brothers. Oh, and don't even think that you'll get off lightly. As soon as you're healed, I'll give you such a thorough, thorough thrashing. <laughs> You'll wish we didn't find you. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for saving Galien. I will see you back at Quarry Mill. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I want to wake up to this song playing. It's like I open my eyes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Riffard wishes to repay your kindness. Now that things are relatively settled, I seem to recall you wanted something from me. You've proven a true friend of my people. Ask me if anything and it's yours. The cooperation of the people of Little Alamigo, that's all. Far be it from me to question your desires, of course. Very well, I will provide you with a letter to show Gundabald. The old bear was my mentor when I first joined the Resistance. He's intimidating to those who don't know him, but he takes care of his own. I've no doubt that he'll do all in his power to aid you. You freaking better. I'm glad I got that Aetherite. Just teleport there now.
We meet again, Gundabald. Why have you turned? You are not welcome here. I thought I made that clear. You'll rethink your position after you read that. You spoke with Mifrid. It has been so long since I last heard from, or heard from him. I had feared him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are, Mifrid sees you as a friend, and any friend of Mifrid is a friend of mine. I know of this mad stranger you seek and tell you what I can. Webowop! Nice. An outsider resembling your mass stranger has reportedly been appearing near Little Alamigo of late. No doubt you'll want to question them about your tr about their trysts, but they are not like to yield the information readily to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, they may well feel obliged to talk. Something I have noticed. How do I increase the size? Oops. Of the of the dialogue box. Item UI settings. Hey, how do you change the size of the dialogue boxes? Yeah, I want it a little larger. Might make it a little easier to read. Click the dialogue, then right click it. Hold on. <gasps> Got it. Well, for me at least. It's gonna be different for you because you use a controller. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. He's not coming through stream, guys, but he's, uh, ugh. my buddy is, uh, throwing the fact that he's got 50 inch TV screen in my face. It's okay. Monitor's better. It's got higher refresh rate usually, even though mine doesn't. Mass man, no idea what you're talking about. I ain't done nothing wrong, so leave me be. Fine. Nuttaball sent you? I listened to, told him it was a big, a bad idea. All that tribe about believing the mast and... Oh, you don't know anything about this? Why didn't you say so? You can throw the old bear's name around like that and expect me to not think him in for it? Oh. Um... Oh, I gotta go all the way to the other side.
Um, okay. This guy didn't see nothing. There's a bunch of been skulking about in this, uh, about right suspicious, like, but I've got nothing to do with them. I know trouble when I see it. And that's our trouble. Walk my words. Indeed confirmed my suspicions about a masked man. That is most troubling. Whatever the young ones are scheming, it can lead to no good end. There's anger inside them. I can see it in their eyes. I ought to know for it once burned within me as well. A decade ago, the same anger drove me and my brothers to rise against the despot. The despot? The despo? Who ruled El Amigo. Not would do, but I dispose him and usher in a revolution. Well, we got a revolution all, all right, but it cost us our freedom. Blinded by our hate, we didn't realize that we had been dancing to the Empire's tune. There are times when a man must be patient, now is such time, though the young ones know this not. Unless we intervene, they are likely to commit great folly. High potion. Do more high potions. Okay, well, yep. This is like really cool looking armor. Whoops. It's like, <laughs> you look like a, wow, I look like a juggernaut wearing this thing. And it's a cool color too, blue's like my favorite color. If you haven't noticed. Hey adventurer, you're done talking with the old bear? I've got a message for you from Willred. Lad's something of a leader among the young ones here. He's impressed that you've won over Gundobald and wants a word with you. Making strides, chat. Making strides. Making ourselves known. Probably better if we just go out this side. keyboard and mouse oh sorry that was for my friend I was talking to my friend he's uh, a controller a little late to the response to that my bad but yeah that was that was for my buddy <laughs> thanks for coming friend tis an ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear that's why I wanted to see you just to discuss something private Tell me, what are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you or someone else? Your mom sent me. Ha. Uh -huh. Crow got your tongue? Hmm, no matter. Whoever it is you work for, your meddling ends here. Get him! Bro! I gotta kill a couple of youth? Almost 400 damage. Wait, he's not dead. They didn't die. Whew. Conscience is clear. Stronger than you look. This changes nothing. Threaten us, beat us bloody all you like, but nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. We we'll retain the power to bring down the Empire, and with it, we'll reclaim our homeland. This guy's an idiot. He's an idiot.
attacked by Wilred and his cronies. I bet they would go such lengths for the sake of the plan of theirs. Of their own devices, the young fools are like to harm others, if not themselves. You must uncover their agenda and put an end to this madness. Uh-oh. Bertlania. Bertliana. God's preserve, what happened? Uh, I was out foraging when the corpse brigade came. They took me to their hideout and they, they... The whole while they laughed at me. They said that I suffered because I clinged on to hope. Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Alamegans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong, I swear to you. Those villains will answer for their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone know of this? Wilred, he saw me outside. He was so angry. I must tend to Bert and Liana. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear that they may do something rash. You got it. No problemo. Uh, um... Big trouble in Little Amigo. <laughs> Hunting knife. Those animals did for to Bertlini, Bertliana is unforgivable, and to think they look down on us. Well, I'll suffer this humiliation no more. I'm with Willard to the bitter end. Maybe there's something up above as well. Heck yeah, there is. Interfere again while well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. Once we have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes, and no one will dare to oppress us ever again. Bad, Will Red. Bad. Down, Suka. missing. Gone the whole lot of them than it is as I feared. They mean to take matters into their own hands, but what exactly is it that they mean to do? Information you desire, Gundobald. Hunting knife, a, mass, a map of Zanrak. Wait. You said Wolred spoke of crystals, did you not? But they couldn't possibly mean to. By the gods, this is rank madness. The young fools are untrained and unbloodied. They have no notion of how dangerous the Amalja are, and they'll be butchered before they get within a hundred yams of the crystals. 
They're headed east. If we hurry, we may yet find them before it's too late. Oh, these guys are idiots. Oh, no. They're going in to get themselves killed, chat. We must save them. Even though they're dumb, we must save them. Job's done. You fool. Don't do it, you fool. Or right, did the did no other survive? This is all wrong. Game of Crystal was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were. We. Please so together, lad. We were going to make an offering to the Crystal to Ralgar to summon him, just like the Masked Man taught. Oh. No. We plotted to sneak into Zanrak and made off with the Lizardman's cash, but they caught us and so many dead gods forgive me. Heathens, you shall pay for your crimes with your souls. I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a price for youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of the Alamegan people. This hope I will guard with my life. Me too. Damn it. Let's try this again. Normal. Yeah, normal.
Pressing the wrong buttons. Nice. We did it. Woo. The battle is won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let us return to a little Alamigo. Wait, I've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, ripe for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Will Red? Did you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? What? No. No one said anything about the masked man. Told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Relgar. He swore. Enough. I will hear the rest of your story tale back in Little Alamigo. I dare say Mokaius will wish to hear it as well. Damn. Damn. I learned nothing, man. He still wanted to go in there and get the, the crystals. Like, he doesn't understand the, the people that he's talking to are evil. They're evil! No more lies, Will Red. Tell us everything. I was outside with the others when it happened. The masked stranger. He told us about summoning Ralgar, about using crystals, and then just vanished. We never saw him again. I wanted so desperately to believe that we could raise ourselves from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives. But I should have known. There's no solution. Nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen to me, Will, Will Red. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on with it, within us all. It is for you to decide what to make of his legacy, but whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe who you, that you owe it to this adventurer, the outsider, or an outsider. I won't, I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. You know, won't happen again. My thanks as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may not have much in the way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, would that we had more information to offer? But what Wilred told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that matter will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you, uh, that you'll find and put a swift end to this creature for the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned words. Don't worry, we will make it happen. Portamonfilia. 